These rockets could signal a new entrance into the Israel-Hamas conflict. They were fired by Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen, shot at the southern Red Sea resort city of Eilat, leading Israeli fighter jets in the aero defense system to shoot them down before they reached Israeli airspace. IDF forces identified an aerial target, a spokesperson said. Alerts sounded and there was no threat. But the larger threat, an expanded conflict with other regional powers like Hezbollah and Lebanon, who are also backed by Iran, a scenario the U.S. has warned against. As the president has made clear, as the secretary has made clear, anyone that's um, uh, considering joining this conflict uh, in opposition to Israel should think again. Their slogan is, death to America, death to Israel, death to the Jews. So that tells you a lot. <laughs> the Houthis' chilling motto could best be executed not through attacks on Israel, but on commercial shipping. And that could potentially lead to higher oil prices. The most important thing in the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula is the movement of uh, oil and, and uh, natural gas uh, through the Gulf of Aden and up the Red Sea. The ability of the Houthis to really do anything significant against Israel is very limited. The former U.S. ambassador to Yemen believes the Houthis could escalate the conflict by directly attacking oil fields in Saudi Arabia, a country they've been fighting since 2014. Were they successful in that uh, would obviously also have a huge impact on global economies. Iran warned that if the bombing in Gaza doesn't stop, the Houthi rebels would continue to expand their operations against Israel. Donna. Okay, Mackenzie Gray, thank you.